The last few months have been rather eventful for the sun, what with randomly blowing up and shooting out coronal mass ejections. And on Friday, a massive magnetic filament snaking across the sun's southern hemisphere exploded. The scary part? It hurled a cloud of debris in our planet's direction. Sun H produced the M9.6 flare on May 16. On the right is AR3311, which has produced a barrage of M flares in the last 24 hours. Space weather experts were expecting G1, minor, to G2, class, moderate, geomagnetic storms to strike Earth on May 21. But the blow, which came before time, was far from moderate. The sun emitted a long-duration M1.5, class solar flare, a medium-intensity event, directly at Earth. The high levels of radiation associated with this event have already caused minor shortwave radio blackouts on Earth. The solar flare was also associated with a coronal mass ejection, CME, an eruption of solar plasma that's now barreling toward our planet. The CME is expected to hit Earth early Wednesday morning, May 10, potentially sparking moderate to strong geomagnetic activity when it does so. A coronal mass ejection hit our planet's magnetic field on April 23rd, resulting in a severe G4 class geomagnetic storm. Geomagnetic storms are disturbances to Earth's magnetic field due to solar material from CME, large expulsions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's atmosphere. G4 storms, in particular, are the strongest and are capable of causing widespread voltage control problems in power grids and mistakenly tripping critical electric assets of the grid in protection systems. Such a geomagnetic storm can also create problems for spacecraft operations, resulting in surface charging and tracking problems. But these events also spark the beautiful northern lights. Thanks to the intensity of this solar storm, the aurora spread across Europe, with sightings as far south as France. Solar flares are bright bursts of electromagnetic radiation emitted from sunspots, while CMEs are expulsions of plasma and magnetized particles from the sun that travel more slowly through space. Solar flares that hit Earth can cause communications blackouts, whereas CMEs are associated with the aurora. Though they don't necessarily occur simultaneously, the brightest solar flares do often coincide with CMEs. As we move toward solar maximum, or the period of greatest solar activity, in the next year or two, we can expect more frequent and greater solar storms. As a result, we should see some spectacular auroral displays, too. Indeed, the incoming solar storm is the latest in a series of space weather events to buffet the Earth. On Sunday, for example, a similar solar weather event boosted auroral displays for sky watchers around the planet. If you like the video, share the same and subscribe to our channel Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates.